the butt welding machines. Uh, replacement value of this one is probably now close to 200. Wow. Uh, and the second one we have, um, that'll be close to 100. Um, they're both the same length machine. Um, this one will weld 40 millimeter thick uh, material over that four meter length. The second machine will only weld 25 millimeter thick material over that length. They're different um, horsepower type of thing. Is that 40 mil uh, thick or solid? Mil thick, 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 solid. Okay. Wow, the cool. panel tin is 50 millimeters. Yeah. As can be seen here. But, um, but because it's hollow, it's about three and three, six, uh, plus these ribs. We program the machine for about an equivalent thickness of nine millimeter. So it's a butt welding machine which operates in a similar fashion to a uh, pipe butt welding machine, but it's for sheet plastic material. So the machine clamps two pieces of material um, on either side and it's going through that process now. There's, a, um, there's an uh, electric element uh, located in the machine that heats the edge of the material. The machine is programmed with uh, the type of material, in this case high density polyethylene, the thickness, thickness of the material and the length, and the machine uh, calculates the welding parameters in terms of time, temperature and pressure. Um, when uh, the machine is programmed, the button is pressed to start it and the welding process begins, which you'll see in a moment. The element comes into place, the cables come together to rest the edges of the material up against the uh, hot element for a predetermined uh, time and pressure. The element temperature is about 210 degrees. It's the control panel. Um, so the material type in this case is uh, high density polyethylene. The length is 2.1 meters. The thickness is six millimeters. Yep. So the the there are three phases of the welding process, which they call uh, melting, heating, and welding. The melting is under high pressure. High pressure. The heating time is under low pressure, and the welding time currently counting down from eight to eight and a half minutes, is also at high pressure. So it'll take eight and a half minutes now for the machine to finish the welding process. Yes. Uh, when, the, when the machine pushes the two materials together, there's a layer of plastic that is quite uh, soft and molten which oozes out the top and bottom, uh, which can then be cut off with a knife after the welding process is finished. The Butt welded together here. So here's a butt welded line, and here's a butt welded line. So again, those sheets are three meters by 1500. We'll cut them, join them together to create a, uh, a long piece of material, and then in the in the butt welding machine, clamp one end of that, and then 
roll the other end over the top and feed it into the other side of the machine to eventually make form the cylinder. Um, and that rolling process for this size and thickness of material is uh, it takes a, a few people to do and uh, we use the crane, but the material is flexible enough that we can do it by hand and hold 